Hi, and welcome to this Wingy Things mini review of the Jumper Zyke 800. I thought I would start off by talking about the equipment and what the plane comes with. So it comes as a plug and play in its own box that can be used to transport it around if you want to. So for holidays, it's perfect. It all goes back into the same box. The motors on board I think are Racer Star knockoffs or Racer Star rebranded. The front two motors are 1800 kV and the rear motor is a 2300 kV, which means you have really good efficiency going forward. But when it comes to VTOL, it can have the power to keep itself aloft. The major problem with this model is not the design and not anything to do with the foam itself. It's the electronics that come with it. The flight controller that the jumper supply with it seems to be a knockoff Arduino F405 wing of some description. That does not work. It resets itself after every kind of 30 seconds. It's a massive pain and it's not uh, changeable. So what I have done is uh, taken that out and dropped in a, F a Speedy B F405 wing. Now that is a flight controller that is suitable for VTOL. It's got enough UART and equipment on board to make this plane fly beautifully. Things that I have also added is a Chaos FPV VTX. They are a fantastic addition to any analog model, costing, I think it was $14.99 from Unmanned Tech, which is a company in the UK. Brilliant VTX, one of the best analog VTXs. It does everything you need it to do without any flap and flop it just does what it's supposed to do be a VTX and give you good clean signal apart from that the model is fantastic the foam is of fantastic brilliant quality it's a really nice molding it's a shame that jumper did not reach out to the guy who designed it who is um, an American um, and the the name of the um, model has completely eluded me but they are it's a brilliant design and it flies really nicely once you put your own electrics into it so definitely my recommendation if you're going to buy one of these is Speedy B F405 or uh, the other flight controller I've got here in my hand is the Matek F405 VTOL. Um, that is a lot bigger, but then saying that the Speedy B is uh, just as big as well. So it's all up to personal preference. I definitely would recommend it if you are interested in VTOL. Soon I will be uh, comparing this to my T1, so look out for that video the Zaik against the T1 and comparing what the differences are. They are marginally different, whereas the T1 is a normal configuration plane with a proper tail, and the Zaik is a plank star plane with the three motor design. Thank you for watching this um, mini review. I will, as I say, be doing some other flights with this and please like and subscribe and comment if you have um, any questions. Thank you very much for watching and uh, enjoy the rest of your day.